U7 presents Rick Hanauer, guild ridden capitalist, also boat rocker and social provocateur. Good for him. This is Nick Hanauer, American entrepreneur, belongs to the 0.01% of richest people in America, owns innumerable companies and stock in others, earns fabulous salaries in the tens of millions a year, and gives guilt-ridden TED lectures showing a socialist conscience. This is me, Javier Livas, attorney, activist, cybernetician. I belong to the 0.00001% versed in management cybernetics on the planet. Not rich, comfortably well off. Former Cal Rancher, small business owner. I've made a movie called Kubernetes. I am an aspiring software mogul and Mexican caramba. My mission for this video helped Mr. Hanauer translate his socially inclined ideas into management cybernetics, into universal governance and management system, into Ashby's Law, the Cybersyn Project in Chile in 1971-73, and my own book, The Cybernetic State, published privately in 1994. The new economy is his favorite subject. He criticizes neoliberalism, investigates income inequality, wants a higher minimum wage. Uh, a video of his was reproduced by Mexican President Lopez Obrador. And I say he didn't do us Mexicans any favor. The president is pre-Columbian, pro-socialist, and an ignorant fool. I will be discussing Nick Hanauer's salad approach to economics as he criticizes the neoliberal economy. And I will make my own comments based on Universal Governance and Management System 7, or U7 for short, based on Stafford Beer's cybernetic viable system model. Okay, here is the first argument against the liberal economy, it, he says it's dogmatic and non-scientific. He proposes a more modern research with complexity theory, psychology, anthropology, and others. Well, my response is this. Nature uses cybernetic laws of control to create and sustain life. These same laws apply to all sorts of economies, from cells, to people, to businesses, to nation states. On the right is the universal management system model. He says that neoliberal economy glorifies competition. He suggests and he espouses cooperation it is needed to tackle complexity. Well, my comment is that cooperation and competition coexist in nature. They can alternate for different recursion levels. Lion kills a weak zebra, strengthens the herd's natural selection. My comment is this does not mean that people should suffer, least of all die, but the economy should have a way of punishing those that are not properly aligned. The neoliberal economy, he says, is profit-centered and focused on economic growth. Instead, he proposes that the goal should be human well-being and development. Well, my comment is that money 
is a constraint. The goal for any economy at any recursion level, for instance a corporation, is long-term viability. Stafford Beer has taught that when you consider viability as the real purpose of a corporation, money becomes a constraint and not a goal in itself. He says that neoliberal economies are all for the gospel of selfishness and instead of that we should look to be our personal best. Well, my comment is that humans are extremely complex systems. Motivation and behaviors follow a huge assortment of patterns and are culturally dependent. Comment. Hanauer is correct to criticize neoliberal economic assumptions. Economics got complicated when Newtonian mathematical methods were tried to predict human behavior and outcomes. Hanauer rejects the idea that neoliberal economies have markets that are self-regulating. He says that markets need regulation. Well, he is correct partially. You see, markets are overlapping relevant environments of viable systems that require conflict resolution. This fact demands a metasystemic intervention where learning takes place. Another comment. The invisible hand is correct and true, but not the whole truth. It is in everybody's favor to have an authority settle, for instance, contract disputes in the market. He says that in the neoliberal economy, markets are treated as jungles. Instead, markets should be treated as gardens. They need tending. Well, viable systems are self-organizing, plus they learn and adapt. Markets are not viable entities, and they are part of a complex system, not the whole system. Another comment, in third world countries, markets are literally jungles. The cartel land documentary shows a whole family murder to steal their lemon grove. There were many, many of these cases. He says that neoliberal economies focus on shareholders and he emphasizes that the focus should be on all stakeholders. Again, he's got it right, but this is not new. Viable systems are nested and their relevant environments are interconnected or overlapping, as I said. Suppliers and customers are part of the relevant environment. So, the world turns out to be an ecology of complex systems. Another comment, since the 1960s, Stafford Beer has been saying that the viable system model includes the relevant environment, all stakeholders. He says that neoliberal economy talks about homo economicus and it is a wrong assumption. He is right. He is correct. Humans imitate many non-rational behaviors. Nature, as well as economies, are chaotic in nature. Imperfect information is the norm. Simple system methods do not work for complex systems because these are unpredictable by definition. Another comment. Complexity is the stuff of management, said Stafford Beer. Dave Snowden 
illustrates the problem with his Kinevin framework. He also blames the neoliberal economy for generating inequality. He says that economic policies are a matter of choice. Well, there's always going to be inequality. What you don't want is injustice. Now, forced cooperation reveals lack of cohesion and information disbalances inside any organization. Now, in the digital era, for instance, ignorance as well as drugs and abortions are becoming a bad choice by free people. Comment. Hanauer means political choice, which is harder to enact as people are riddled by fear of political incorrectness. Now, this is a table with the main points without some of the comments. Take your time if you wish. Here are my recommendations to Mr. Hanauer, the guilt-ridden capitalist. Instead of preaching an impenetrable salad of economic and behavioral theories, how about Mr. Hanauer? You concentrate on testing and teaching universal governance and management, easier to understand and much more effective. Number two, let the structure of a well-designed business create a self-organizing and self-sustaining culture away from authoritarianism and socialist innuendos where workers can feel themselves as part of the organization. Let the corporation run itself so you and your big salary won't be indispensable. Third, enable employees to learn about real-time management and how transparency and access to quality information and knowledge will empower them to increase their productivity and their worth to the organization as a way of generating a much better income. This three things is what Stafford Beer tried to do in Chile almost 50 years ago with the Cybersyn project. Is it not time to give it another try? before the pitchforks appear. Finally, one last word of advice. Do not start a fire you cannot put out. Or in cybernetic terms, do not generate variety you cannot absorb yourself. Thank you for watching.